My name is Deanna Rayburn and this is A Dangerous Collaboration. The Petticoat and Parasol Brigade is just my term for a group of Victorian women who, instead of sitting in the parlor, tatting lace and serving tea to the vicar, decided to get out and investigate the world and explore and to see what there was out there. They didn't sit at home accepting what Victorian society told them they should be doing. They went out and saw the world and they had a fantastic time doing it. And they brought back a lot of knowledge and they're really, really fascinating women. A Dangerous Collaboration is book four mm -hmm. in the Veronica Speedwell series. She's a butterfly hunter and amateur sleuth, and this time she gets to go sleuthing in an island setting off the coast of Cornwall in a castle, and you know, you need a little murder thrown in, so you got a little murder thrown in. Butterflies and taxidermy. Those are not typical topics for books. <laughs> Talk a little bit about your choices and why, why the characters are who they are. The whole idea of collecting actually started centuries before this, when wealthy patrons would amass collections of art, artifacts, memorabilia, and what they would do is they would keep these things in a cabinet a cabinet of curiosities. So a lot of people who had money and had leisure time would go and collect specimens. It was one of those things that demonstrated that you had wealth, that you had good taste. And with the rise of the middle class in the Victorian age, suddenly you had this middle class with money who wants to do what people with money have been doing. It was also the time when you saw the establishment of the public museums. And so all of a sudden you have curators who need massive collections of things. And so people were going out and getting them. Talk to me about how hard it is to take somebody from the 1880s and make them relatable in 2019. The first thing you have to do is figure out that people in the 1880s were absolutely relatable. They wanted all the same things we want. They wanted a decent life. They wanted to have fulfilling work. They wanted a good life for their children. If you go back and read their personal writing, not the things that they necessarily wrote for publication, but the things that they were communicating to their friends, the language is almost indistinguishable from early to mid 20th century writing. It's very immediate, it's very modern, and it's very relatable. It has been so much fun having you here today. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching A Word on Words. I'm JT Ellison. Keep reading. If you could go anywhere in time and meet anybody, who would you do? I would probably at this moment want to go meet Anne Boleyn and say, run girl, you in danger. <laughs> like just don't do it. Like just go. Get. Don't, don't. Save yourself. Get out.